If you have an older laptop or PC that isn't as fast as it used to be, and you can't afford it or don't have room for a new GPU, an external GPU might be just what you need. External GPU are processing units that function identically to normal GPU, just with the distinction that they run outside the system. Hello guys, in this video we're looking at the 5 best external GPU of 2022. And if you want more information, we also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting our list with number 5, we've got the Sonnet Radeon RX 560. The Sonnet Radeon RX 560 has an appearance that is quite similar to that of any other power supply, and because it is so compact, the entire gaming block may be held with just one hand without any difficulty. The actual gaming block measures 6 by 5.1 by 2 inches, making it quite portable. This is useful in the event that you require additional performance while you are away from your home and you need it. In terms of specifications, the main component of this gaming block would be the AMD Radeon RX 560 graphics processor with 4GB of GDDR5 memory. To give you a little more insight, this external GPU provides 6 times better in-game performance as compared to computers with integrated graphics processors. Thanks to the 3 Display Port 1.4 ports and a single 2.0 port, you can use this external GPU to support up to 4 4K displays should you need to. Furthermore, with the Thunderbolt 3 cable, the Sonnet Radeon RX 560 provides 4 to 5 watts of power delivery, which means it will power and charge your computer while connected even when not in use, allowing you to leave your computer's power brick behind. When it comes to compatibility, this external GPU is compatible with all Mac and Windows PC that have Thunderbolt 3 connections. Before you buy this external GPU, as usual, we strongly suggest that you conduct your own study in order to verify that your computer is capable of utilizing it and that it is compatible with your system. Overall, if you are on the lookout for an entry-level external GPU, then the Sonnet Radeon RX 560 would be our top budget recommendation. It is also the most compact, all-in-one gaming box to power up your system and give it the necessary performance for the games that you want to play. Next with number 4, we've got the Lenovo G0A1 graphics dock. The graphics dock from Lenovo, model Lenovo G0A1, has a design that is both very sleek and very compact. The entire surface of the device has a dull gray coloration all over it, and there are connectors on three out of the four sides of the device ranging from headset jacks to HDMI, Ethernet, and USB ports. The actual gaming box measures 9.8 by 5.1 by 0.89 inches with a weight of just 1.5 pounds, making it the most space-efficient and transportable choice among these alternatives. In terms of specifications, the Lenovo G0A1 Thunderbolt 3 graphics dock features an integrated NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 graphics card, which is reinforced with 4GB of GDDR5 RAM memory. Powered by the Intel Thunderbolt 3 technology, you will be able to enjoy a blisteringly fast data transmission speed of up to 40 gigabits per second, and you will be able to experience the definitive 4K resolution on up to three external monitors at the same time. Furthermore, this external graphics card also features a 3.5mm audio port, a gigabit Ethernet port, a USB 3.0 port, and a few other ports for enhanced flexibility. While this external GPU is primarily designed for owners of Lenovo ThinkPads, you can also use the very decent 1050 GPU for gaming. As with any external GPU, we would highly recommend you check whether this product is compatible with your system before you purchase it. In the end, the Lenovo G0A1 Thunderbolt 3 graphics dock is another great, compact, and affordable external GPU that is perfect for gamers who are looking to get a boost to their in-game performance. Next up at number 3, we've got the Akinio Node Titan Thunderbolt 3 external GPU. Otherworld Computing's Akinio brand of external GPU enclosures is fully compatible with both Windows-based personal computers and Macs. The Node Titan is the most recent external graphics enclosure, and it comes with some very remarkable features. It also has a build that is entirely made of metal and has a dark gray color, and it has a feel that is both high quality and solid. Because it has these special thumb screws that can be removed, it is incredibly simple to open the enclosure and switch out your card. There is also a transport handle that can be retracted and hidden away within the top, however, there is only one opening on, which air can enter the device. It's a relatively compact design too at 14.06 by 5.31 by 10.47 inches, which is considerably less than both the Sonnet Radeon RX 560 box and the Razer Core X Chroma. The Akinio includes a robust internal power supply unit with 650 watts of capacity, which should allow it to support a variety of different graphics cards. 
Another less fortunate difference is that the Echidio node Titan can be noisy. The fan is positioned at the bottom, and although it could be removed and replaced with something more efficient, it looks a little tricky to access. It also lacks any extra ports, which seems like a bit of a missed opportunity, given the possibilities when connecting up the Thunderbolt cable. But, in its favor, the Echidio Node Titan is fairly reasonably priced, given it can support a wide range of graphics cards. At number 2, we got the Razer Core X Chroma Aluminum External GPU. Second up on our list of external GPU is the Core X Chroma, which is widely considered to be one of the best external GPU currently available. Not only does it include a power supply unit that is incredibly hefty and has 700 watts, which is sure to handle the broadest variety of high-end graphics cards, but it also has a full range of four USB ports and Ethernet built in. It is a very convenient feature that when a laptop is plugged in, only one wire is required to charge the battery, add USB ports and Ethernet, and improve graphics performance, all while supporting an external monitor. We have a hunch that this may be connected to the fact that Razer is well known for offering powerful laptops with extremely thin profiles, some of which do not have USB ports or Ethernet ports incorporated into the chassis. The Chroma serves up these ports via a small add-in card placed in a PCIe slot above the graphics card. Yes, you can remove the add-in card and replace it with whatever you choose, offering a way to add any PCIe device to a laptop, something that has previously been impossible. Ventilation is great with exhaust ports on both sides and at the rear. There's also a physical power switch, which provides some useful tactile feedback to let you know the device is turned off. It opens via an excellent mechanism where you pull a handle at the back and slide it out, and no external power brick is needed either. That's a top mark for design. The Core X Chroma comes with a heavy 15.23 pounds and has dimensions of 14.7 by 6.6 by 9 inches. It is not very portable due to its size, which is comparable to that of a mini ITX computer case. In addition, while having a solid set of exhausts, the noise levels are not particularly impressive. Thankfully, though, it's very straightforward to replace the included fan with something more premium and improve the airflow considerably. The last product on our list is the Gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti Gaming Box. This gaming box by Gigabyte is minimalistic, sleek, and compact in design. You almost couldn't tell from the black exterior how powerful of an external GPU it is. The gaming box itself measures 11.8 by 5.5 by 6.8 inches and weighs around 8.5 pounds, which makes this device super portable and easy to bring with you on the road. The main component of this gaming box is the graphics card. In this instance, we have the phenomenal NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, which has a GPU clock speed of 1710 MHz, 10 GB of GDDR6X RAM with a memory clock speed of 19,000 MHz and a memory bus width of 384 bits. All of these features contribute to the incredible performance of this graphics card. In terms of input and output, this gaming box comes equipped with a Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port, an Ethernet port, two HDMI ports, three display ports, and three USB 3.0 ports. This external GPU is capable of outputting an image with a resolution of up to 7 to 680 by 4320 pixels, but only if you have a screen that is capable of supporting a high-quality image. When it comes to compatibility, in order for you to use this system, your laptop or desktop computer needs to have a Thunderbolt 3 connector, and it also needs to be compatible with an external GPU that connects to the very same port. Thanks for watching, that's all for now, and hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.